Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a back-to-back 90-degree -back bend. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today, a back-to-back 90-degree -back bend. And uh, this right here is called a box offset, and this is a box offset, but that's not part of today's video. Uh, we're just going to go from this coupling down and make a 90-degree bend. Uh, this is a 12-inch stub going from here to the back of the band that's a 12 inch stub and it's 24 inches from the inside of this stud to the inside of this stud and then from the back of this band to this coupling is 24 inches i'm going to take this down and we gonna make another one and that's the one i'm going to be showing you how to do it okay i've taken down the back to back 90 and i'm going to be making another one and you always start on the shortest part of the back-to-back -back 90. So this was only 12 inches, that was 24 inches. So start start with this bend right here. And this is gonna be, come down 12 inches and make a 90. And my bender right here has a five inch radius. It says right here, stubs five inches to arrow. And I am going to use the arrow for the first bend. When you subtract off the five inches, see 12 inches will be down here this is a seven inch mark okay so this is the 12 inch stub minus the five inch radius is seven inches i'm going to be putting my arrow right on the seven inch mark right here and then when i make this bend it'll come out at 12 inches okay i've got my arrow right on the line at seven inches and i'm going to go ahead and make the bend Okay, that's a 90 degree bend right there. It's a, a good idea to check it because it's very important to have both of these bends at, right at 90 degrees. Okay, uh, with my boot on the stub like that, so it's nice and flat. I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna measure 24 inches. Right here, 24 inches. And I'm gonna go all the way around Okay, I've got the star of the bender right on that 24 inch mark, right there. That's, that's the mark and that's the star of the bender. See now, I've got these flat on the ground and that's the way it needs to be. See this bend needs to be in the same plane as the next bend. So it actually is when you have it on the ground like that. All right, so with your star on this mark here, and with this piece in the same plane as the handle of the bender, I go ahead and bend this to 90 degrees. This is why you bend the short stub first because the handle bumps if you if you're in the same plane like you're supposed to be it, it bumps the other stud right there so what I do in this case I'm gonna just go over to one side just a little bit okay so that should be 90 Okay, so they're both right on 90. So this stub needs to be 24 inches. So I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna mark it right at 24 inches and I'm gonna cut it with my bandsaw right there at 24 inches. Okay, I'm gonna take my reamer Ream that out real nice. Okay, so here it is. It looks like it's lined up in the same plane pretty well. And uh, let's try it out. So we'll put this in here. And that in there. In our level.
Okay, there you have a back-to-back 90-degree -back bend. See, it's not so hard. And it showed you two different ways of making the 90-degree stubs. This, you used the arrow, and you made the mark uh, five inches before the bend. And this, you used the star, you just made the mark exactly where you wanted the bend to be, but you used the star. So, and then this is nice and level. I'll put links in my video description for the ideal three quarter inch ductile iron EMT bender with handle. I'll also put links for the ideal ductile iron one inch and one half inch EMT benders, and I'll put links for the ideal aluminum benders in the same sizes. And I'll put links for four different brands of mini band saws. These all have two and a half inch cutting capacity. The Bosch and the Makita are the lightest ones. The Bosch being 8.8 .8 pounds without a battery. The Makita 9.0 pounds with a battery. But uh, they're all excellent and check them out in my video description if you're interested. I'll also put a link for the Klein Magnetic 9 inch lighted level. You just press a button on the level and it lights up. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.